foggy and I thought it'd be a good time to show you how bad these lights actually are. Hey y'all, this video, I gotta ask you a question about lights. Not these lights, these lights. So first off, let's talk about the normal headlights. So my headlights, I have 100 watt Hella, they're HB3s and they got a 100 watt, they're 100 watt bulb. I was told that those would burn out really quick because they were so high wattage, but I've had them for five years now and they, they still work, so. And then for my low beams, I just have some Sylvania replacement bulbs, nothing, nothing special there. Let me put this back in. I'll show you my dims and my brights. I know my lenses are a little fogged up. They're not terrible for uh, 2003 though. So you can see the Sylvania bulbs, kind of yellow light. And then the Hellas, they're pretty bright. I don't mind the halogen bulbs at all. I don't know if I will swap my regular headlights to LED or not. Um, just let me know, what do you think? Should I swap them to LED? I really like these 100 watt Hella bulbs but I don't think I can get them anymore. So to run the 100 watt high beams, I also did the heavy duty headlight harness to keep from burning, burning the wires up on the factory harness. They're prone to heating up and melting. I went ahead and done that. And as you can see, the factory fog lights are not there since I redid the bumper. A flood light, I have this Everlast. It was a, just a farm store light bar. Not very expensive. I got this, uh, let's see, that's probably a 14 inch light bar. I'll see. So from end to end, 14 inches. So the light itself is actually 12 inch, probably 12 inch light bar. But I got this, this light bar and these two square pods. So you can see that one. So it's a little bent up. I smashed it into the mud on the Daniel Boone. So I pointed down in front of the tire. <laughs> I kind of like it. I may knock this one over to do the same thing with it. But I got these, I think they were a hundred bucks for the, for the three lights at Orschmann's. Um, they've been good. I've had them for four years probably. Four or five years I've had them. And they have not got water in them. And I use them quite a bit, but I have noticed they light up a little different than they used to. So let's turn, we'll turn this one on, probably blind you. And uh, let's see if any of them's burned out. I really don't know. I guess you gotta plug it back in. You can see in the reflection here, uh, that all the bulbs are still burning. So you can see, it supposedly has some floodlight here on either side and then these are supposed to be spot. I don't think the reflectors are that good because in the fog you can't tell the difference. You can't see the flood beams on either side and then the spots going out. That was the 12 inch light bar is what I'm going to call it. Now I'll show you the two pods down at the bottom. Well that one's been up. So I'll show you this one light pod here at the bottom. I have it run on my fog light switch. So I have to turn my parking lights on and then my fog will come on. So I got that light bent back out. The brackets are all still bent up on it, but it's about the same as, as this one. So let me turn that on. You take a look at those. Those are pretty bright. really amazing that this light still works. I have a couple more lights. These ditch lights. They're Traveler brand 
from Tractor Supply, I believe. Or a spot beam. Now these, these are only about a year old and they do pretty good. But they have a nice tight pattern. Zoom in here and see. See if we can focus on the LEDs. They have a lot nicer reflector in those than the Everlast did. You'll see in a video that I'm about to show you that these lights still have a good pattern. They work good as ditch lights because they shine out a little further. I'm still thinking about replacing them with a little higher quality light though. In the fog especially, the heavy rain and the snow we had last two weeks ago, three weeks ago, whatever that was, that these are almost useless. Both the fog light and these two pod lights in here on the front they they just do not cut any any snow they don't cut the rain didn't cut the dust either in the summer dims brights ditch lights floodlights none of these are good in the fall Answers from you guys and girls, I think I'm 100% male audience, so I want to say, guys, let me know what brand of lights you like the best, and if you don't mind, tell me why you like them, not just I like just because. Tell them I like because they're Missouri based, like their lights because of this, you know, just let me know. I'm not saying that I'm going to go with dial, but they are, there's some lights I'm checking out. All right, so let's talk about what I'd like to do on the truck. So on this upper bar where I have this light bar, I'd like to put some round spotlights. I prefer round, I always prefer round lights over light bars like this, square lights. I just feel like I'm old school and round is what lights are supposed to be, you know. It's a round truck. Round lights will look better on a round truck in my opinion. Around a lot of companies do a five inch, a seven inch, and a nine inch. I got a couple of things here to help me visualize what a nine inch light, a seven inch light, and a five inch light will look like. First, let's roll a duct tape. Yeah, I know. It's right at five inches. In my opinion, that is too small for this big of a truck. I mean, it is round. It will allow a lot of airflow to get to the radiator, but I think it's just too small for this truck. So I have a nine inch pulley here. This is huge. All right. So that's a visual representation of what a nine inch light would look like on the front of this. All right, now times that by two, and that would be awesome. I love the way these big lights like that would look on the front of the truck. I wouldn't be able to see them from the driver's seat. It's still lower than the hood, but a light this large would take up so much space in the front 
that I'm afraid it would restrict the airflow to my radiator and my transmission cooler. And you all know behind the 5.3 is the 4L60, which is known to be junk. So I want to keep it alive as long as possible. And if I restrict the airflow through the transmission cooler, so I don't think the 9 inch light will be what I go with either. As much as I like the way it looks, I do think it'll block too much of the radiator. I have some seven and a quarter inch saw blades. This is gonna be the closest thing I have to a seven inch light to give me an idea of what they would look like. And I do have two of them, so it'll make it look better anyway. A seven inch light spaced at one foot apart is gonna look the best. It's not so small and puny that it just kind of blends in with the grill. I mean, they're big enough, you can see them. But it's not so large that it's gonna restrict airflow to the radiator. I think a seven inch light is gonna be my best bet for round spotlights on the upper bar. Yep, I think I like the way that looks. I believe I'm gonna go with seven inch lights on this upper bar, round lights for my lower lights here that I'd like to use as fog lights, I'd like to have them with amber lenses. Now I know there's some companies that's making some crazy colors like blue and green. I did talk to one company that makes the green lenses and he promised me that the green lens cuts dust and snow and fog better than the amber. So I would like to go with with some smaller lights for my fog right. lights. Let's talk about my ditch lights. I prefer round lights in the ditch light position too. I have a four inch and a five inch. Roll the tape here, we'll see what I like. Now I'll try the five inch again. A four or five inch light in the ditch light position will be fine. Five inch light's not as big as I thought it would be there. And I can't see it from the driver's seat. Now one thing that I do not have on the truck now that I would like to have is a light bar above the windshield. Whether it is a row of five inch lights up there or if it's just a single row LED, I'm of the age that everybody had the KC Daylighters. The six inch round KC Daylighters with the bright yellow covers. I had the KC Daylighters on one of my little Ford Rangers and my F-150. I had five of them on the front of a Ford Ranger and four of them on the top of a F-150. I really like the way that, that the round lights up there look, but I would not be opposed to a light bar, but a narrow light bar. So as much as I like my halogen lights, in my factory housings, I do think I would like to try out some LED lights in the low beam and the high beam. All right, so that's my thoughts on what I would like to replace all of my lighting with. If your opinion differs, let me know in the comments. Not only can you uh, let some frustration out, but you can also help me out. Thanks for watching, y'all. Have a good one. Clean it. This is the third time I've filmed this, and this is the first time it's rolled off the bar like that. And you all know, behind the 5.3 is a 